Welcome to How Q by Vocus Labs, a series of short, easy to watch videos explaining complex licensing topics in simple terms. Hi, my name is Jan Cook. I'm Senior Advisor with Vocus Labs, and in this video, I will be explaining the various licensing options for SAP's new HANA database solution. So, what is SAP HANA? SAP HANA is an in-memory database platform with a multitude of data visualization, query and analytics add-ons. The in-memory technology allows SAP customers to process large volumes of data in real time and provides powerful tools for accelerated data analytics. Not to be confused with S4 HANA, which is SAP's Business Suite 4 ERP solution on the HANA database, HANA is the database itself and can be licensed to run non-S4 SAP applications and other non-SAP applications as well. SAP HANA is an alternative to other SAP database solutions and third-party database products sold by SAP such as Oracle, DB2 and Sybase. There are a number of licensing options for the HANA database. We have the SAP HANA Express Edition, Runtime Edition, Standard Edition, and Enterprise Edition. The SAP HANA Express Edition is a free on-premise solution for production and development, up to 30 gigabytes of data. The Runtime Edition is for SAP applications only, and there are four different flavors. We have Active Read Enabled version, Runtime for SAP BW version, Runtime for SAP applications and BW, and Limited Applications version. The runtime edition is sold on a metric called HSAV, which is a percentage of the SAP application value to be deployed on the HANA database. For SAP HANA Standard Edition and SAP HANA Enterprise Edition, these are both full use licensed versions and you can deploy both SAP and non SAP applications on the database. The Standard Edition is a limited use rights license, which includes optional add ons, and the Enterprise Edition is a full use license, which includes most of the HANA database features available on the price list. Both of those licensing solutions are sold on a metric gigabytes of memory which is sold in single unit blocks of 64 gigabytes. Here we can see a list of all the runtime licensing options. As you can see, there are many, so it's very important to have your use cases prepared for negotiations with SAP to make sure you're purchasing the right licensing entitlement for the HANA database. As you can see here, we also have the SAP HANA limited runtime edition for applications, which allows only related HANA applications to be deployed on the HANA database. The HANA Standard Edition is sold on a tiered pricing model with prices starting at €40,000 per 64GB block. With Standard, the advanced features are not included but can be purchased as add-ons with prices starting at €20,000 per 64GB. If your organisation will need more than three or four add-ons, then Enterprise Edition might work out to be more cost-effective. The HANA Enterprise Edition includes the main advanced HANA features available on the price list and is as a result more expensive. Prices currently start at €120,000 per 65GB block, with prices reducing to €15,000 per block in the highest volume tier. In this table, we can compare which advanced features and software bundles are included in each license. For runtime, we can see BW versus the BW and SAP application license, and for the full use version, the difference between the standard and enterprise editions. For the runtime options, we can see that the BW and applications license is more extensive and includes four of the seven core HANA add-ons. We can also see the main advanced HANA database features excluded from the standard HANA database version that are included in the enterprise edition. Although not shown in the previous table, the HANA features for the limited runtime edition for related HANA apps is very similar to the runtime license for SAP applications and BW. Here we have a list of the HANA related apps that can be deployed on the HANA database under the limited applications runtime license. So what are some of the key takeaways? Why not try the Free Express edition as part of your exploration process into the HANA database solution? Will you be using HANA for SAP applications only or other non-SAP applications as well? 
Make sure you have a clear blueprint for your SAP HANA use cases so you can choose the right option. Take time to understand the various licensing options and of course you need help, you can contact Focus Labs to help you with that. Model different business scenarios and forecast your three to five year TCO for each and that will help you make more informed purchasing decisions. If you buy HANA, keep a copy of the use rights as they are highly complex and translate the use rights into management rules to help you stay compliant. If you need help planning your migration to HANA or S4 HANA and the respective license negotiations, then follow the link in the description to our contact page to speak with one of our experts today. Or if you have any questions about this topic, feel free to reach out to me directly. My contact details will be displayed at the end of this video. We also offer a dedicated S4 HANA contract migration service. We use our SAMQ technology to measure current use model your S4 HANA licenses and map a negotiation path to the most commercially optimized S4 HANA agreement. To find out more about how we can help you with your S4 HANA negotiations, then you can visit www.focuslabs.com forward slash advisory. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more how-to video content coming soon.